Hi, my name is Emily and today we're going to talk about symbiosis. Symbiosis is the close, important relationships between two or more species of animals. There are three main types of symbiosis. Commensalism, mutualism, and parasitism. Now, I want you to imagine you're a lemur and you're eating a banana, but you don't want to eat the peel. So what do you do? You can't throw it in the trash because you're in the rainforest. You just throw it on the ground. But what happens if all the other lemurs in Madagascar threw their banana peels on the ground? That entire forest floor would be covered in banana peels and fruit rinds. But it isn't. This is because Madagascar rainforests have their own sanitation workers. Meet the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Madagascar hissing cockroaches are super cool. They live on the damp forest floor. They're detrivores, which means that their diet is made up of dead and decaying plant matter. And despite the fact that they might sound kind of gross, these insects are very clean. There's lots to learn about them, but right now, I'm going to focus on three important relationships they have with their fellow animals. We've actually already talked about one of these relationships, but let's look a bit closer. Think back to the lemurs from earlier. The cockroaches have a symbiotic or very close relationship with the lemurs. If it weren't for the lemurs, the cockroaches would lose a very important food source. This type of symbiosis is called commensalism. These relationships benefit one of the animals, but not the other. In this case, the cockroaches get food, but the lemurs are not directly affected by what the cockroaches are doing. Remember when I said that hissing cockroaches are very clean? That's because of another type of symbiosis. The cockroaches have tiny hisser mites that live on their exoskeletons and eat all the stuff left over on the cockroaches. This type of symbiosis is called mutualism. Mutualism is when the symbiosis helps both species. In this case, the cockroaches stay clean and the mites get a source of food and a safe place to stay. Before we knew more about these cockroaches and their mites, we thought the mites were parasites. Even though we now know this isn't true, it is a prime example of parasitism. Parasitism is symbiosis where one animal is helped but the other is hurt. For example, when a dog is bitten by a flea, the flea gets a meal, but the dog loses blood. Thank you for watching. All my sources are linked below in the description. Have a great day.